everyone, I hope y'all are having a great day, and today I'm going to be reviewing The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. I feel like The Fifth Wave is one of the most hyped up books of the year. There was so much promotion for it, and there were reviews everywhere, and everyone was like, read this book, and do I think that it's worth the hype? The short answer is yes. This book was incredible. I loved it so, so much. I definitely recommend it. There's amazing characterization, an awesome plot, and just brilliant writing. Rick Yancey knows how to write. And I'm sorry to say, but that is the end of the non-spoilery review. I generally try to keep my reviews spoiler free so that everyone and anyone can watch my review and see whether they want to pick the book up or not. But there's just this huge, huge spoiler in this book and it takes up most of the important parts of this book and I can't talk about it without spoiling it. So if you haven't read the book, go read it and then come back. So now that we're alone, let's talk about the fifth wave. I'm assuming that you've already read the book so I'm not going to give any kind of synopsis. I'm just going to go straight into the review. This is science fiction but it has that post-apocalyptic vibe to it. I thought it was so so strange how it was so normal, even though it's science fiction. Like our main character, Cassie. She goes on Twitter and she has an obsessive crush on a boy at her school and everything is just so normal. Until it isn't. Cassie is just such a normal teenage girl, you can't help but relate to her. I loved Cassie's character so much. I thought she was a fantastic narrator. Hold on, I'm gonna put the book down, it's kind of heavy. Sophia has no upper body strength. But yeah, back to Cassie. I loved her character so much. Cassie's just so normal and I feel like if she were real, it's like someone I would be friends with. She's so snarky and sarcastic and witty and I loved her. She's not exactly the smartest person that ties in with the plot and how I thought it was pretty obvious, but I'll talk about that later. But overall, I really, really loved her character. The book is divided into several sections and each section is told in a different perspective than the previous one, and at first I didn't pick up on that right away. I remember there was this line, it was like, he treats me like a younger brother, and that's supposed to clue me in on the fact that it's no longer in Cassie's point of view, but I just thought it was a typo. It wasn't until later in the section when I realized, um, this is not Cassie's point of view anymore. No, it is not. It is Ben Parrish. I felt like he was one of those cocky, popular boys who are like, my smile is a gift to women in the world. I mean, I really did enjoy his sections, and I thought he was a strong character, but he did annoy me. That doesn't mean that I liked the book any less, I just felt like I didn't like him as much as I liked Cassie. And then there was Evan Walker, the silent. Honestly, who else saw that coming from a thousand miles away? After reading that tiny, tiny section in The Silencer's point of view, when Evan showed up, I was like, that's him. That's the Silencer. Cassie, oh my god. Also, Camp Haven being this alien place and those people were the bad people, I totally saw that coming. Like the green light, red light thing, I was like, oh, that's a bit backwards, don't you think? And then the tracker in the back of their necks, I was like, that is not a good sign. So I saw that coming as well. But despite the fact that these twists in the plot were extremely obvious, I didn't feel like that hindered my enjoyment of the book at all. It wasn't the kind of predictability that was like, oh my god, I totally saw that coming. It was more like, oh my god, I was right, I was right, I was right! It was predictable, but still enjoyable nonetheless. But let me go back to Evan Walker because let me just say that he is so amazing and flawless and if I had read The Fifth Wave before doing my Mary Kiss Cliff tag, I would have popped his name in the cup because yes, he is everything you could ever want in a boy. He is sweet and protective and extremely intelligent and as a bonus he comes in the package of a very attractive boy. I thought for the most part the plot was very well paced, except from the beginning. The first hundred pages were pretty slow, to be honest, and I only read a couple of pages at a time because it wasn't exactly interesting. It was mostly flashbacks before the alien invasions. Near the end when Cassie was like going back and forth between trusting Evan or not, liking him or not, that kind of thing, I thought that was really annoying. There were so, so many great scenes and great lines and just 
The ending, the huge climax scene, was just so intense and awesome and fantastic. Another reason why I like Cassie is that she is so kick butt. She's so tough. She knows what to do. She knows how to do things, even though she sometimes doubts herself, and it's just a hundred shades of fantastic. And then Ben Parrish. By the way, I feel like I'm downing on Ben Parrish a lot, but I just, I liked him. I didn't love him, and I thought he was kind of obnoxious, but he does have his strengths. One of his strengths is his physical strength. Like, the way he just carries Sammy and, like, pulls Cassie up. I just, everything, so good. He's so good. So good. The whole scene was so fantastic. And of course, any scene with Evan, I was just drooling over. This is my very first Rick Yancey book, and I really like his writing, actually. It's concise and humorous, and he just has this compelling way of telling a good story. In conclusion, The Fifth Wave had amazing, amazing characters that I loved, loved to read about. The plot was predictable, but still exciting. Speaking of that, I was literally so so absorbed in this book. I was frustrated with myself because I couldn't read fast enough to get to the next point. I wanted to know so badly what happened next and just my human pace of reading was so insufficient. I love this book so so much. Great characters, lovely plot, a really awesome boy, and I am dying for the next book. The open-ended ending with the Evan plotline? No. I need closure with my Evan. I'd really love to hear what you guys thought about The Fifth Wave, if you loved it as much as I did, who your favorite characters were, whether you found the plot to be extremely predictable, and just for the heck of it, any theories on what you think will happen in the second book? Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and happy reading. Bye!